In this lesson we do some work on time conversions. Now let's consider a few facts. One week equals seven days. One day equals 24 hours. One hour equals 60 minutes. One minute equals 60 seconds. Now one year, we can think of this a number of ways. One year is 365 days. Unless it's a leap year, and we get 366 days in a leap year, one extra day. One year could also be considered as 52 weeks. Or well, one year is 12 months. Let's look at some examples. We're asked to complete the conversions. The first one we have four hours equals how many minutes? Now before doing any conversions, let's recall a few things. If we're changing from big to a small unit, we're going to multiply. The reverse is true. If we change from a smaller unit to a bigger one, we divide. So in this case, we've got hours and minutes. We work out what's the connection. We can see that one hour is 60 minutes. So we're going to be working with a factor of 60. And we are changing from hours to minutes. So we're changing from something bigger to something smaller. So we're going to multiply. So we multiply by that 60. So we have 4 times 60 is 240. So 4 hours equals 240 minutes. Well, the next one we've got 180 seconds equals how many minutes? Well, the connection between seconds and minutes is that 1 minute equals 60 seconds. Now we are changing from seconds to minutes, so we're going from a smaller unit to a bigger one. So we divide. We divide by that 60. So we have 180 divided by 60. In other words, how many times does 60 go into 180? It goes three times. In the next one, we've got three weeks equals how many days? Well, what's the connection between weeks and days? We can see that one week equals seven days. And this time we are changing from weeks to days. We are going from a bigger unit to a smaller one. So we multiply. We multiply by that seven. And three times seven is 21. 72 hours equals how many days? Well, hours and days, what's the connection? Well, one day is 24 hours. So we're going to be using a factor of 24. We are changing from hours to days. So we're going from something smaller to something bigger. So we divide. We divide by that 24. So we have 72 divided by 24. Okay, in other words, how many times does 24 go into 72? It goes in three times. So 72 hours is the same as three days. The next one we've got half a year equals how many months? Well, years and months, what's the connection? One year is 12 months. So we're going from years to months. So we're going from big to small. So we multiply. We multiply by the 12. So we've got a half times 12. In other words, what's a half of 12? A half of 12 is 6. So a half year is the same as 6.